Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Techies and this is our Angular 16 AGRX tutorial. So in this video, let me provide the introduction of FX. So FX are kind of services, this mechanism provided by NGRX for handling the external API. So in this normal Angular application for handling the external API, we have the services. After that, we have to inject the particular services in our component in order to we can completely access our external API. Since we are using this NGRX, we have the store, the store have the complete data. From the store only, we are subscribing data to our component, okay? And our actual data will be available in this external API only, okay? So then directly calling the API from our component also not a prepared way. And also from the reducer, we cannot call the API. So because it is a pure function. So that's what NGRX introduced to this EFX, okay? So basically, it will monitor all actions that is dispatched from our component and it will check the type of action so after that it will request the services in order to get the data once it is having the data it will dispatch the new action through the props it will transfer the data so obviously it will be affect our store so the final data should be displaying in our component because we are subscribing from the store okay so this is the overall concept so now we can see the definition of this in GRXFX. So in Angular applications, components are responsible for interacting with external sources directly through the actions. So instead of that, EFX provide a way to interact with those services and isolate them from the components. Okay. So that's what I have explained. The components basically directly interacting with the services. So in order to isolating them, we can use this EFX in this NGRX concept. Okay. Now we can see some of the key points. So the first one is, so FX isolates side effects from components allowing for more pure components that select state and dispatch the actions. So once we included this EFX, the components only dispatch the action and also if data required, using the selectors, it will select the data from our store. So there is no direct interaction to the external API. That's what they have mentioned. And the second one is, FX are long-running services that listen to an observable of every action dispatched from the store. So that's what I said, the FX are a kind of services. It will listen every action dispatched from our command, okay? And the next one is, FX filter those actions based on the type of action. So this is done by using an operator, okay? So this is a kind of effect implementation. So in this initial load itself, it will verify the type of action. Based on that only, it will call the particular services, okay? So in this case, we are using some RxJS operators. So that's what they have mentioned like this. And the final one is EFX perform tasks which are synchronous or asynchronous and return a new action, okay? So always FX complete their action, it will dispatch the new action. So that's what they are trying to convey. So next we can see the functional flow diagram. So it will give some more idea. So this is our normal NGRX uh, life cycle diagram only. Okay. So here we can split this into two sections. So the first section is for the NGRX and the second section is for the FX. Okay. So in my previous videos, I have covered up to this NGRX section only. We have the global store and also the component. From the component, we are dispatching an action. So then our reducer will perform some action. So based on that, we will get some output value. That data should be added or updated in our existing store, okay? So since we are subscribed our store through our component, if there is any data change, obviously it will be reflected our component. This is the normal flow of NGRX. So here after any action dispatched from our component, our effects will be listening. And based on the action type, it will call the services. From the services, we will get two kind of response. One is the success response and another one is the failure response. So based on the response, effect will dispatch one new action, okay? Through the props, it will transfer the data also. So once it is coming to our reducer, obviously it will update the new value in our store. So if there is any data change happened in our store, that will be automatically reflected in our common based on our normal NGRX flow. So this is the way our NGRX effects are working, okay? 
For implementing this NGRX effect, the first step is we have to install these packages NGRX slash CFX uh, through the NPM or AND using the NG. For any type of command, uh, we can install this NGRX effects in our application. For the implementation point of view, I will continue in the next video. So before closing this video, let me share some sample codes for implementing this NGRX effects that may be helpful for our next video. So okay, this is the official site of NGRX. So here I am in this NGRX effect site. So whatever definition and detail we have seen that the same information will be available here also. So now we can see this example. Just to consider this movie page example, okay. Uh, they have a list of movies and simply binding in one of the list, okay. So the actual data available in this services, it's having only one method, get all method. From the component, they are subscribing this get all method in order to they can get the complete movie information and simply they are binding. So this is the normal Angular application flow. So since we are using this NGRX, so instead of directly interacting with them services through the store using this selector, they are getting the same movies because the data available in the store only. Okay. Then in our ng on and hook, they are dispatching this load movies action. So obviously FX will be listening these actions. So this is kind of one sample effect code. Okay. So the effect name is load movies. So in this ngrx for creating the action, we have the create action. And for creating the reducer, we have the create reducer. Similarly, for creating the effect, we have the function is create effect. Okay. And in this constructor side, they are injected this actions and also the exact service movie services after that they are checking the type of action so based on the actions they are calling the services so here they are getting two responses this is the positive response and the next one is negative response that means the error scenario so in this positive scenario they are dispatching one more action movies loaded success through the payload they are passing these movies so in our scenario this is the props okay so once the action is dispatched, obviously it will go to the reducers, then it will affect the store. The final data will be displaying in our component. That's all about the flow and handling this error. So in this error scenario, we will get the complete error information. Then we have to dispatch the one more action that is movie loaded with an error. So in this case, if you want to show some error messages that we can show. So this is all about the NGRX CFX flow. So in my next video onwards, I'm going to start the implementation from our application. Then you will get some better idea. So still, if you have any doubts or clarification, please post in the comment box. And also, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.